We're now live. We're live. Evening. Hello, hello everybody. Hope you're all out there watching us. Um, right, I'm Shaz, and this is our Facebook Live for May. We do them about every two months, and um, nice to see you if you're out there. And I have with me, uh, I'm Heather, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a few months sort of off having a baby, and now I'm back. I'm Cathy, IBD nurse, you all know me. Yeah, yeah she's back. <laughs> she I'm never, never goes away. <laughs> And on the subject of babies, we are planning to do a Facebook Live all about babies and having babies and pregnancy and everything else later on this year, probably in September. So watch Ooh. out for that. Heather will be on that as well. <laughs> I Heather, don't have a Heather choice will, now. Heather will be the <laughs> main star. <laughs> well, you never know. Maybe I'll see if, uh, if, if Ozzy's feeling good, maybe I'll bring him along. Yes. So that oh, yes, can that would be brilliant. Yeah. And we never know. We and might, do a bit we of might baby. have more babies on the team by then. Well, don't look at me. Who's, are you shoving out babies? <laughs> are you? Are you? <laughs> Who else is coming out? Of you? <laughs> I know it won't be me. <laughs> I know it won't be me. <laughs> and it won't be me. I'm not having another one last thing. Dearie me. <laughs> okay. So we'll see if we have any questions. I believe we have a few questions. Yeah. Um... Sorry, I meant give to say Danny's like, behind the scenes here. <laughs> give us a like or a hello so that we can see if people are watching. Um, that'd be really good, please, because yeah. I can't see any comments just yet. So. I can see Danny joined. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> anyway, Happy first... Gail's always there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first question we've, we've had in says, I've had Crohn's for over 30 years, so I'm not a newbie to colonoscopies, but I really need to know how others take the prep drink. I struggled to drink it all while trying not to be sick. Last time I tried with lemonade. I never drink plain water, always orange squash. I can't stand the drink now. Any suggestions? Suggestions? <laughs> Gosh, that could have come from me, but it's not my question. But yes, the prep. <laughs> is it a own kind of question? Yes. Is it from yes. Yes. we know who, what the yeah. prep is? Because the prep's changed from oh, oh, actually, wherever you are. I think it was Nicola. Oh. I think it was Nicola. But I can't, but Danny might be able to find out in a minute. Um, yes. Hi, Nicola. She, yes, she's just sent in a... Oh, oh right. Okay. okay. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I think well, it was YouTube Nicola. would probably but be the best place to I mean, I haven't had... To, I mean, uh, to be fair, the first time I had it, I thought it was ugh, absolutely disgusting. And I mostly, basically, I just held my nose <laughs> and drank it with holding my nose. Mm. But the last one I had, which was only in february or january whenever you maybe you have one um the last one i had she's always got i was gonna say there's no, there's no you know bad feelings <laughs> there no, at no, all. No. no um it was actually fine uh, i didn't you know i just drank it straight down and i didn't really have any problems with it apart from the fact that my colonoscopy actually got postponed for a day and i had to not eat food in the end for about two and a half days by which time i could have i thought i was dying I mean, I was pathetic, really, because it's not really starvation, but I was really hungry. <laughs> yes, <thank you. laughs> It is but a really difficult one, isn't it? I think if mm. you're very intolerant to bowel prep and that few people are yeah. and you're vomiting, then probably the answer is a different prep for you. Yeah. We do occasionally um, avoid, you know, not give bowel prep for people like that, but they just have a longer starvation. Oh, so right. like three or four oh, days okay. and fluids only. We three or four days? We don't, exactly. Well, can't be three or four days. <laughs> Desperate times. Yes. Um, we do occasionally do that, but not very often. But if you're vomiting the prep, then it's going to be not helpful anyway. So no. it's probably best that uh, you contact us and we either give you a different prep or we do something different altogether. Yeah. Because I think most mm. people do manage to actually drink it. Yeah. It depends on what I yeah. can get. I mean, this wasn't my question, but it could quite easily have come from me it's not nice but i no. do i get there in the end mm, holding yeah. my nose is, is mm, you know, yeah is um, for me it depends I mean, she's tried lemonade and orange is. squash and everything yeah, yeah. yeah. and they do change for me it depends what it is if it's yeah. pickle axe, if it's citra fleet okay oh, oh no 
Really? Yeah. Oh, see, sure. isn't that? See, oh, see, I prefer the citrus have orange. Fruit, yeah. It's not orange flavour that I have. I have the oh, lemon oh, flavour. You and your lemon. So I know. <laughs> She says with a lemonade in front of her. Like, <laughs> or the Pepsi also, Jewish. In yeah, there. yeah. Oh, that's another story anyway, for another day. That back one. to the question. But also, I'm I'm probably shouldn't admit this in front of Kathy here. I'm quite naughty with it. I don't make. Take it. Well, no, I do, but I don't make it up to a full glass. Well, I don't want so I concentrate it is. right down. Yeah. Yeah. So I have probably half a glass yeah, of water. Quite, well, half it? of yeah. that size glass. I mean, half yeah. of that. Yeah. That's because that's quite a big glass. Really. So, like on just a normal beaker, yeah. I probably half it. So I'm I really concentrate it down. Mm. So I don't. Is it better I can't, concentrated? Because I can't have like volume of. If okay, I take in yeah. volume, then that will make yeah. me sick. Because the, the current prep just says mix with water. Yeah, it doesn't say yeah. how much. So it doesn't yeah. say how much. So, so you can yeah. make it. Because so, that's what oh, I thought. I thought right. Yeah, because I just make it. But you do need to drink. You do need to really keep up your fluids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I always have a Fox's Glacier Mint on standby straight after. <laughs> Good plan. Yes, that's you can, a you can good have um, idea. Clear. Yeah, clear. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can have you can have fruit pastels and fruit gums because I lived on those for a couple of days, but not but the not red those. ones. I know Tom made. I must ask why not the red ones. Lemon and lime oh, jelly. Just could be looking like red. blood. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, we've got a question, but I'm not seeing the question. Abby. Abby. Oh. There she oh, is. We knew you'd so be here, here Abby. I can't see that. Oh, I Andrew. Am Hi, Andrew. I'm new in Rowdy. Oh, yeah. Do you know if they will adjust the mix like Humira to get rid of the sting? I know the end of that mm. question oh, right mean. there. You because, the word sting, but you right, know it. I know it because I've had an issue. Well, you know me. I'm there with the ingredients. <laughs> Both me and my husband have Crohn's disease, and that's, you know, how I know this because I had the old Humira mm. pens, it's a big um, pen. like syringes, and I had the new ones, and because me being the suspicious person that I am, um, put the ingredients side by side and the Imraudi has um, the citric acid Absolutely. still in it. That's right. And that's, I think that's been a big <laughs> oh, problem that we've had. Is so it, yes. it's a big issue we've had since we've moved over to Imraudi and I think everyone has now moved over. And we've had lots and lots of issues like this. The plan is to take the citrate out um, at some point, but if you're really struggling, you can have another biosimilar without the citrate. Oh, there you are, Andrew. That's all, that answers that your question. Oh, you did, didn't you? Most, <laughs> people, most people do just that they tolerate it and they cope with it. But if it's a major problem, let us know and we can, we can, uh, we can give you Amjavita. Oh, hello. How do you like Amjavita, Amjavita. <laughs> But if you're coping, then, you know, it's, it's, it, they will eventually, I think, change the formula. Hi, Lindsay. You're just a little bit slower. Thoroughly so enjoying all. just watching tonight. Yeah, <laughs> she's usually on here. That's why we came at the night off. Gave me the night off, didn't we, Lindsay? It's because I haven't had a few of them. Poor Lindsay's no. had to like had yeah. to be here yeah. instead. Thank you <laughs> for giving me a little break. <laughs> Andrew's saying sorry. Press the button too. He's pressed the button too soon again. I think. No, we just haven't scrolled down. Oh, that's scrolled. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I can take it. <laughs> He's being manly. <laughs> you can take a sting. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not seeing the questions at all on my screen. Oh, that's that's okay. right. Keep up with it. Can, yeah, I can't move yeah, because otherwise fine. the camera will go wonky. It's fine. Um, right, do you want another question? Yes, yes. Yeah, another another question. Okay. question. Yes, please. Because we've answered Andrews. Um, oh, oh, Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh. Kathy, where's your purple top? <laughs> <laughs> she won't wear one, Charlotte. She said she won't wear one anymore. And it's not her colour. Actually, Charlotte knows how much I hate yeah, would the you purple like top. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> would you I like orange? orange instead? I don't think orange would go with me. What do you reckon, Charlotte? Is it, uh, how about that one, Charlotte? Yeah, walk it. No, that's worse. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> Charlotte's got photos of me in the purple that she bullies me with. <laughs> well done, no, Charlotte. I feel like there's some blackmail going yeah. on there with those yeah, photos. <laughs> What's the next question? Sorry, Danny. Sorry. Um, is it better to take paracetamol as a capsule or presumably tablets? Just tablets. Caplets. Oh, oh, caplets. Well, you oh. can have caplets or capsules or paracetamol. Does it, it doesn't matter at all. Can't you? Doesn't matter no. at all. Oh, I mean, okay. if you've got an ileostomy, the general thought is not to have capsules because they can go through. But if you've not got an ileostomy, you can, it doesn't matter at all. Yeah. Capsules, tablets, tablets, whatever. 
it, you know, oh. it's soluble, it's all the same. Right, okay. I, yeah. I, I was under the impression that you had to, yeah, perhaps you were better, but no, that's fine. No, they're, they're all, I mean, unless you've, uh, if, it's really if you've got, um, you know, if you've got a, a, a stoma bag, an ileostomy, yeah. mm. sometimes the, you can see the capsules go through. Right. They don't oh, actually design. That's a nice surprise yeah. for you, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. but other than that, no. Anything, everything's fine. Mm. Oh, so I'm like, John, there's other, I think we had a question about aspirin as well, a similar sort of thing about, you know, is it okay to take aspirin? Is it okay to take ibuprofen? I mean, I know it's not okay to take ibuprofen. Yeah. I don't know about aspirin. Avoid all non. They're a group of drugs called non-steroidal drugs, um, and avoid all of them at, at all at all times if you possibly can. So, what, so aspirin, aspirin ibuprofen, one, Nurofen, naproxen. I didn't know aspirin was all one. that group of drugs because they can. Unless you're bleeding. having a heart attack, That's please do take right. one. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been prescribed it for pregnancy, please do even, take some. Even, even um, if you've like... got Crohn's or you're having a major heart attack, <laughs> please you can do take yeah, an aspirin. Right, yeah. <laughs> there are a few exceptions. <laughs> the only time we ever take an aspirin is we usually take, if, we, if we're flying somewhere, we take an aspirin before we fly. Oh, the odd one. That's the odd one. Absolutely. So the odd that's not going to hurt, is it? No. no. But I repeat, just I don't take it. I didn't really realise it was aspirin as well. See, every time we have one of these, I learn something else. It's amazing. Somebody mm. as long in the tooth as you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was unnecessary. <laughs> I think it means the same thing, Kathy. Oh, okay. <laughs> you and me both, Chaz. I'll drink that. It's good experience. And wiseness. Anybody got another question? Evening, Maybe Rhiannon. Got... Hi, Rhiannon. Rhiannon. Oh. How are you We've feeling, Rhiannon? Bit. Are you all right? Well, wait for sure. Yeah. She'll take that <laughs> in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's not She's... that quick interaction. <laughs> Okay. The question. question is passing mucus normal with Crohn's? I would say yes. Yes. It it can be normal. Mind you, I've got colitis, so what do I know? <laughs> <And colitis. laughs> yeah. It can be a normal manifestation of the bowel. So people with irritable bowel can pass mucus. Um, and it is normal. I mean it's it's difficult to say, is it normal, is it not normal? It's very much in do you mean when I'm, I mean when I'm having a flare up? Absolutely. If I'm having a flare up, yes. if I get blood and mucus yes. all the time. Absolutely. If I'm not having a flare up and I pass mucus, I think, oh, I'm getting a flare up. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. And a lot of people yeah. do report that. But, yeah. But some people do have, you know, pass mucus with irritable bowel as well. So right. it's not yeah. necessarily means a flare up. Um, but yeah. a lot of people, it is normal if you're having a flare yes. to have that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So even if you're sort of all right and you know that you're all right all the yeah. test results coming back but you're still getting a lot of mucus yeah i mean is that, uh... <laughs> i guess if you're getting a lot maybe let us know I maybe would. Let, if you're getting a lot I'd if you're getting a know. little bit now and again yeah. don't worry about yeah. it yeah 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 I don't, I mean, sorry sorry anyway. i'm just leaning across oh hello abby. Oh, it's abby. Hello, Hi, abby. oh she's going to st mark's and rhiannon is great oh look. good from mission oh yeah mission. <laughs> <laughs> that's good news Oh, oh, weeks. oh, good luck with good the luck. drive. Be fine. Oh, Plan out all your toilet stops. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know how it goes, Abby. Yeah. Big step, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. I've got, I've got, I'm seeing messages now. Oh, oh lovely. Ta da. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Um, okay. Actually, talking about driving up to St. Mark's and holidays in general. Mm. I mean, one site we were talking about earlier that if you if you're on going on holiday, one site that's really well worth going to is the IBD Passport. Yeah, that's site. fantastic. www.ibdpassport.com. I mean, just put in mm. IBD Passport and it'll probably come up at the top of the list anyway. It's really, really it's a brilliant um, resource. Yeah. I mean, funny enough, I use it. We went to Gran Canaria a couple of weeks, well, a few weeks ago now, and. Um, I looked at it because I wanted to look at find out about travel insurance. Yeah, and actually, that directed us back to Crohn's and Colitis UK. Yeah, they are. Yeah, that's right. List. It often does. But yeah. it's amazing the insurance yeah. because I don't know why, but I think it's suddenly cottoned on to, well, they're making it more expensive. My insurance before, I've got colitis, but I've never had any kind of operation. Mm. I haven't got a stoma or anything like that. I haven't been in hospital for yonks and yonks. Um, and when I've gone on holiday before and I've got travel insurance, basically, if you've you know, not had a stay, we not had an operation, not had this. The, the insurance has been pretty low. This time, 
it was, I mean, like the, the first site I went on to, to look at, and it was one of the ones on the list of Crohn's, Crohn's and Colitis UK, actually. The first one I went on to, when I was looking at it, was 600 quid. I was oh. like, my holiday isn't costing 600 quid. Okay. We, end, we ended up, we got a, an annual one for about 200 quid for yeah. Pete and I. Um, mm. it's, and he hasn't got anything reportable wrong with him. I mean, there's lots wrong with him, obviously. <laughs> He's a man. But, <laughs> sorry, man, I didn't mean that. Um, but he hasn't got anything reportable no, for Chavarin. It can vary a lot. But it's it. really gone up since the last yeah. times that we've done it. Yeah, you a lot know, of people have said that just in the last year or so. So I was like, horrendous. So, but anyway, if you are looking for you know information about yes. what Go state we do, yeah, that's a great site. www.ibdpassport.com. Questions, Danny? Yes. So, um, is backache normal with Crohn's and Colitis UK? Crohn's and colitis, even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. It's, 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 a it's, it's a very it's heavy charity. It's a very heavy charity. It's all those things you have to carry. Yeah. Yeah. It's carrying those banners. Yeah. 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 Is it normal? I, these questions, is it normal? It's difficult, isn't it? I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, joint problems can be part and parcel of yeah. IBD. But that's yes. not so much backache, is it? I mean, well, backache is a more general thing. Obviously. Yeah, but a lot of people report lumbar pain oh, and then they have yeah. um other joint issues as well but yes it can be and sometimes people get um inflammation in their sacroiliac joints so of their what joints sacroiliac joints back of you there. oh right okay yeah. and that's very common so but it's difficult to say is it is it normal yeah. it's a very it's kind of a bit of a generalization you, you, people do report it yeah right. but if your backache is bad bad then you need to get some advice yeah, yeah. but don't take ibuprofen but don't take ibuprofen <laughs> <laughs> but the gel is okay and the hip pads. If, if you do, because I asked oh, you yes. about that one time, yeah. if I could use the gel. Oh, yes, I did too, yeah. <laughs> because it's localised. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. localised, yeah. 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 Does anyone else suffer with bad or weak teeth? Teeth? Do you suffer from bad or weak teeth? No. Now, that is something no. that I always bring up with my dentist as well, because it's a like a common complaint I have noticed sort of within the IBD mm. community that people say about having bad teeth. Um, now my dentist on the other hand seems to be on it with the whole Crohn's thing. He's always asking me about it. And he said, actually teeth is not the problem with Crohn's disease. It's gums, which is the reason why your teeth get bad because if the gum has got disease, yeah. then the teeth, has nothing to sort of stay in yeah um which is why they come out and and things and also um to be entirely truthful he said people with crohn's and colitis quite often have bad diets uh because they yeah. can't have mm. the fruit oh, and the fiber yeah. Yeah. and things although if you do have too much fruit that affects the teeth as well but because you're not eating kind of the roughage and and mm. so it's things, not the disease it's itself. not the disease it's itself the it's disease. it's yeah it's like yeah. the surrounding thing but that's yeah, I, you know, I mean i'm not a professional in any no, way shape no, or no, no, but it's, i'm not a dentist i do not have a dental degree um <laughs> but well, no but um that's the information that he's told me and he always checks kind of the guns yeah, and yeah, yeah. Things around it I any yeah, other no, questions yeah. from anybody else you know help yourself mm. type help in <laughs> She should have had one, really. She <laughs> one, no. Help yourself, everyone. <laughs> yeah, please type in some questions. We do uh, have some. Okay. But... Why is my Crohn's so much worse around my period? Oh, oh good. That one. is a common one, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it's probably. It, it probably the Crohn's probably isn't worse as in the disease process the symptoms are probably mm -hmm. worse because you have symptoms that go with periods and symptoms that go with Crohn's and combined they just make a perfect make it storm yeah. <laughs> yeah so so a lot of women do say that they have more diarrhea and mm. um, more pain and it's probably a mixture mm. of having um, the, the, the hormonal imbalances um, which act on a person without Crohn's gut in that way anyway and if you've got Crohn's as well then that will make your symptoms worse it won't actually change your disease process it won't make you flare it'll just give you more symptoms yeah. some people 
yeah a lot of women do report that mm-hmm. yes yeah, I, I don't remember ever having that but oh, I, yeah. I, I, have was, I was, so I was quite bad I was quite bad before I um, yeah. before I went on female health well Immorality before you got pregnant minute. before i got pregnant well, yeah. you were just quite bad anyway weren't you? Just yeah a bad person, to be honest really, i'm yeah. just <laughs> yeah um yeah, Rhiannon's Danny, yeah, just Danny's written gone. a letter i have a rheumatology appointment for my joints if i'm diagnosed with anything or i am prescribed anything will that department talk to ibd or is it best for, for me, me to, to let, let you know, know as i know lots of the medication options are similar e.g mm. and knowing you Rhiannon, there's there's bound to be a bit like you. Yeah. There's bound to be <laughs> whatever she takes. Bless her. There'll be a there'll be a problem with it. Um, Sorry, Rihanna. It, we're in the same boat. <laughs> um, we work quite well with rheumatology colleagues, and as you've just said, a lot of our drugs overlap. So a lot of the disease modifying agents, especially the biologics, work for both Crohn's and and joints. Um, and most of the time, you know. They talk to us, we talk to them, and it works quite well. Um, you'll probably end up on something that will help your joints and that hopefully will help your Crohn's that you haven't already had and hasn't caused a problem. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> but yeah, but the, but the other thing that can happen with rheumatology is often, and I think rheumatologists don't tend to do this, it tends to be more primary care. People go with their joint problems and they do get put on roofing and stuff, whereas I think the rheumatology team tend to be quite aware that of that better, now yeah. so they don't tend to give i mean i guess that in a way it's good that i mean rihanna is kind of telling you in advance this is happening maybe it's good that if people tell you in advance that this is happening yeah then at least yeah. you know that yeah. rheumatology yeah you might need right. to be talking to them it, or they it, might need, to be, needs to, be to be joined you. up yeah. yeah definitely rihanna says you know my body <laughs> 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 oh, I'm not, I'm not troublesome, am I? You, do you know, you're not. I'm good, aren't I, you really? Are. See, you're I'm good. good, you're bad. I mean, I'm one good. dose of a cat's had to deal, I was 20 years ago and you didn't look back. That's it. I've had to deal <laughs> with me since I was 15, this poor woman. <laughs> <laughs> Why do strictures happen? Oh, <laughs> God, that's a, well, that's a hard question. I know, sorry. It's... God, I read about well, I know this one I time. Told, I, I bet it's on the Crohn's and Colitis UK website. Why do they happen? Um, do you mean, do they mean? Um, I don't know. It's Liz Lindsay's fault. She gave us the question. See, I know. Lindsay did that. that. No, yeah, um, we, uh, we were asking the questions earlier. Oh, and say. she found other people who had asked questions. So, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, Crohn's will be t- um, a specific type. It will be what we call sort of luminal Crohn's, but you don't get narrowings. It'll be fistulating Crohn's when you get abnormal passages through um, parts of the bowel or onto the skin, or it'll be stricturing. Why stricturing actually happens, I'm not a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Kathy>. An immunologist. <laughs> it's all part of the disease process. <laughs> um, and it's just very common, you know, the bowel does narrow in a certain... People that are ge- genetically pre- predisposed do get stricturing Crohn's, but as to why they actually happen and how they do, I'm not quite sure. And Thanks what is that, Lynn. But, and what is just a an angel um, emoji. I'm not sure that she's an angel. No. <laughs> She definitely is not. Look, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I well, it wasn't uh, her who asked the question originally, but that's true. We need um, Dr. Hayden. We need, we need Dr. Hayden on there. Yeah, we should yeah. I was going to say, I was, I was told, now I don't know whether this is at Here's all that. true. Right, I was told that it's... I was about Dr. Hayden. Well, no, well, <laughs> I will not see him. <laughs> <laughs> I was very sad that Tom got... I know you told I me. did. <laughs> I was gutted. Um, anyway, I was told. Now, whether or not this is true or not, please go go away and ask it. <laughs> <I'll wait laughs> no, was that with Crohn's disease? Obviously, you have the ulcers, but then when they heal, they they he, the scar tissue goes over the top of the the ulcers, yes. which which means that it gets it thickens the wall by by healing over yeah. the ulcer, and then obviously yes. it ulcers again. And then yes. obviously it tries to heal itself again. So it's constantly it keeps building up yeah, layers yeah. on top of each that's other. That's what I was thinking. Whether or not that's fibrotic strictures. So you can get fibrotic strictures or you can get oh. active. Oh, my. Oh, there's even different types oh, of strictures. Oh, it's so complex. 
Um, yeah, but you're right. In fibrotic <coughs> structures, it te it, that tends to happen. Whether, whether Crohn's has been active and, and died down or, or been active again, that tends to happen. But why they actually occur in the first place in some oh, people, wow. I guess at some point we will probably know the answers to that. Lindsay said, yeah. I was told the same thing, Heather. Oh, mm. wow. well, I'm well, glad we're on the same we're page. On the same page. <laughs> it's a pity you couldn't have told us the answer to the question. <laughs> <laughs> three mm. different types yes so if you've got stricturing crones can you not have fistulas with that yeah, or, you can some people or... do have strictures in the bowel and they also have fistulas some people have very clear sort of um you know uh, types of crones mm. so some people will just their disease will always stricture mm. and some people will always fistulate mm. and, and you do see that quite a lot you know people have very very similar well, they have a disease pattern that, that, that follows a certain course yeah but certainly people do have strictures and they do have fish yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very complex it, it is <clears throat> yeah. see nicola's it's a hodgepodge yes. she's missed it at the beginning yeah. but i mean in summary we were i think kathy was saying that if you've got a problem with what you're taking as prep oh, yeah. then you can actually ask for something different and especially if you're vomiting it, you, know, That's you, not you can't hold that, yeah. then you, you yeah. really you should. The best thing is to just ask for something and try a different yeah. prep. Speak to They've got several somebody. different preps that you could yeah. try. So, uh, or, or even not eat for three or four days. Which Personally, Sharon I think cannot that's mad. cope with. <laughs> but, you know, but, you know, maybe it's better than but not getting the prep down. You can so. go back to the beginning of the video afterwards, can't you? Yeah, yes. yeah. you can yeah. rewatch the whole thing again if you want to later, Nicola. But that is a summary of, uh, you know, if, you, if you've got that sort of problem, then do ask the... We should go back to the endoscopy part, yeah. wouldn't she? Or, 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 or you, if not every yeah. But to Where's get something else. number? It's normally going across the bottom. No, we can't put it across the bottom when we haven't got all the setup that we have normally. I put it across no. the bottom afterwards. Oh, how clever are you? No, that's um, easy. <laughs> Andrew says, good luck to anyone running the Plymouth Half on Sunday. Yes. yes. So we've got Claire on our ocean. Claire Marshall. Good luck, our, everyone. And John ocean. Mitchell. And John Mitchell. Mitchell. Yeah, yes. he's Trudy's partner. And Trudy so used to be on our team. So if anybody's out watching, look out for the purple running vest. Yes. Yes. And yeah. Big cheer. Yes. Um, and they've both got just giving sites on we've we've advertised about them on our facebook page and we will do again before the weekend so if you want to give them a couple of quid as well that Amazing. would be lovely mm. good luck guys yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it, and like you say anybody else who's running for us we, yeah. we just don't know but if you tell us we'll publicize it on mm. our page so do tell us <laughs> please um do we we've only got a couple of minutes left do we Ooh. want to oh. talk about our ball and wall kit yes yeah. <laughs> <Is that right? laughs> Any closer there, Kathy? <laughs> 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 is that okay? <laughs> so the ball is further away, but it, so it's October the 12th, but we have, stop hiding, we have cheap, cheaper tickets going. Until the end of July, You can if you can book for a table of 10 people, you'll get your tickets for £40 instead of £42. And it's well worth it. It's a lovely, it's going to be a three-course meal, and we've got a photo booth, and we've got some... Band. We've got a live band called The Unfortunate Ones. Um, if you came to our last ball, it's the same band, but they've got, a, I think they've got a different they just singer. Changed the just changed yeah. one of the singers, they've yeah. changed the name. Um, and we've got a raffle and an auction. Um, so it'll be it'll be great fun, and it's well worth, it, worth it. And it's at the Crown Plaza. <clears throat> but nearer than that, we've got Walk It. Yeah. Walk It? Yes. Oh, there's, no, if you, if you walk... <laughs> See, Heather's got a Walk It t-shirt. That's if you're a walker, you have a Walk It t-shirt. I can't wait to get my orange t-shirt on. Are you volunteering this time? If you're volunteering, you'll get one like this. And my dog's got a bandana. Okay. Oh, last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. on the back, it's got the new logo. Yes. yes. That's a rather yeah. outsize. Oh, that's Pete's. It's huge. Well, Pete's huge. He's not. Well, it's quite large. <laughs> that, well, that was so Pete. Well, anyway, anyway um, well, that's um, National IBD Day so, as well. World yeah. IBD Day is on Sunday, World IBD well, the marathon, 19th yeah. of May. World IBD Sunday the 19th of May. We've just had one question come in. Should yeah. We yes, we'll ask that question. Go for it. Yeah. Does the steroid treatment cycle get frustrating for some? Ooh. I don't know what what you mean yeah. when you've got to yes. like take a load and then reduce, <clears throat> and, reduce yeah. and reduce and reduce. Or being back on them again. Go back maybe. on it again. Yeah. Reduce, yeah. reduce, reduce, reduce. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> For me, not nice for me it's coming off no. coming off them i find worse i don't mind so no, much for you it's I've... taking the cow to chew that well, go with oh them. oh i'll have it in an effervescent those big I'll round 
I hate those. Yeah, but I'm that's not. the worst pills I ever, ever ever taken. I'm horrendous. I'll go to Captain. I want. <laughs> I want <laughs> effort. We haven't answered the four girls' question. Yes. Yes. yes, I find it very Absolutely. frustrating. Because, they, they, because you have extra well. symptoms, yeah, you yeah. have extra kind of symptoms and things like the yeah. night sweats and stuff. We We're, try and limit steroids at all costs. They yeah. are just really um, a necessary evil, as it were. I mean, they work fantastically well. They're very, they, you know, they get people into remission. But um, to be on and off them is not good. So we'd always no. want to move you on to an immunosuppressant if that was happening. Mm. Yes, mm. rotten things you have to go on to. Nice but but it is I would, I agree it's a necessary evil just to get you over that first yeah. hump, isn't yeah. it? To yeah. to like just stop it down Definitely. a little bit just to yeah. calm yeah. it down yeah, they, and then you can do get work on very well yeah. for people. They do. They do. Although I had to go into hospital one time and have them intravenously, didn't I? You did. Because they weren't well, working. Yeah. I've been on it for oh, ages. See, I'm quite mm. tricky. So I've usually oh. got Oh really? <laughs> what a surprise. I've, I've usually got to have a course of antibiotics before I have the steroids now, Chris Hayward found out, <laughs> because I've got to have the gut, gut flora completely like wiped out. Oh, right. Before the steroids actually work. Oh. She's it's got, happened she's a, a, yeah, she's just it's happened always a been in trouble, hasn't she? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, oh, it doesn't surprise yeah. me. And we all. must just say that Dr. Hayward is back. Yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're all delighted at Hereford. <laughs> all the patients are highly delighted. Yeah, I'll be. <laughs> Very well, nice Lisa's saying there. hi, Chris. I'm not sure if, if she's talking to somebody else or what she's hi. Hey. Maybe she thinks he's here. Yeah. <laughs> Who's um, that saying? Is that Kerry? Kerry's saying, I hate the Kelsey Chew yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm with that's you, Kerry. It is. You have to that's the big fat one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're just really it's such a problem. Big. Chalky. Yeah, no, they're big. And they're horrible. horrible. Are they? That's what you've got to ask. All right, all right. well, next time, what bloody effort. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pointing a finger at me. I really hate those things. Right, ladies, I'm sorry, darling. Sorry. Do we need just remind you about walk it. Walk it is the thirteenth of July. Don't forget. Yeah, don't so forget. please sign up to walk Dogs water get a volunteer. bandana. Yes. Yeah. And don't it's only forget. fourteen quid. And they look really to, to sign up. It's really really cheap. And World IBD Day, nineteenth of May, which is and, this Sunday. And you yes. can get an orange bracelet. Yes. You can. Which I'll obviously oh, be sporting yes. with my purple top. And if you volunteer, if you <laughs> want to volunteer, it is free to volunteer. And you get a lunch. And you get a lunch for yes. walk it. That is. Yes. yes. So. Um, Come oh, and help us. Yeah, yeah, we'd love to see it. It'd be great. Oh, and also, course. we're celebrating Danny's 40th birthday. Or I'm just thinking about Danny. No, it's <laughs> <good. laughs> chicken. I'll be on the home. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Yeah, yeah. 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 You'll see her drunk. walking around with a <laughs> prosecco in her hand. So you must come having a party on the home. <laughs> Happy birthday, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> time, time to go. She's See you next nervous. time. Bye. I'm going to drink my wine now. Yes, you can. Yeah. <laughs>